Friday, March 3rd. Just dropped off a bunch of stuff at the post office and I came by my bin and I got a few things here. Let's go check it out. It's a nice big one. Millions of Keurigs. Oh, is that an old laptop? Oh yeah, look at that. Old Toshiba. <laughs> Eat, drink, be Irish. Pentium. That's riding up front with me. So I'm just on my way home. I have the two computers and I filled up water bottles. This area here is prone to illegal dumping and this is just another example here. It's a real pain. Oh, I don't like to see this, but here we have a whole bunch of wire. Look at that, a whole bunch of copper wire is just sitting out here. I'm gonna snatch all this up. Well, there we have it, I'm all done. A uh, couple pieces of aluminum too. But this just makes no sense, you know? Right over right over there they put a whole bunch of fill because people were just backing up their trucks and just filling in that whole area with garbage. But like I was about to say, it just makes absolutely no sense because the garbage man will take all of this stuff. In our municipality, you can put pretty much anything or everything at the curb and the garbage man will take it. Personal residence has no limits on how many bags you can put out. Businesses are different. But yeah, this makes no sense at all. Look at all this wire. It's all number one insulated. That's a good score right there. It's a good find. I'm not going to strip this old stuff. I'll just bring it in like that. See some Romex and stuff. Yeah, I'm just back home now. I'm taking a closer look at this stuff and it's aluminum. As you can see there. Mostly all aluminum except for the Romex here. You can see it says it. It'll say it right on the wire too. Aluminum. Aluminum. Oh well, I'll still bring it in and see if the yard can give me an okay price for it. Maybe just, probably just 10 cents a pound. Dirty aluminum price. Alright, uh, this is the stuff that the two computers from my bin today. I just finished scrapping them out. And this is what came out of it. I'll try and make this quick, but because man, it is just frigid out here. Winter, she doesn't want to let go yet. So, six sticks of RAM from the two computers and a couple of CPUs. That one it doesn't have the pins, it's just gold plated. Two button batteries. This is the Toshiba laptop that came out of my bin. It's pretty beat up. Really dirty too. Lots of food inside of here. Uh, you can see it's cracked right there. But I'm going to bring it downstairs and just try to fire it up and see what happens. I think it has like a weird uh, like a five pin uh, five pin c power connector. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I have one like that. See it has the old floppy drive on it and the CD drive. And uh Here's the label for it. They worked at Nav Canada, and yeah, made in uh, made in U.S. of American and imported parts. I can't find what uh, software it's running on or the date or anything on it, but it'll be fun to f just to see if it if it works. So moving along, I got some uh, aluminum heat sinks. This one's copper. Has copper in it. So I'll put that in my aluminum heat, heat sink copper bucket. Uh, this is like heavy, I think that's cast aluminum. It's pretty heavy though. It's, maybe it's like zinc. And then a couple fans. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll start collecting those again. I'm not sure. Fistful of wire from the power supplies and whatnot. 
floppy drive. I'll collect, collect that. I'm collecting the hard drives too. Uh, this one's 160 gigabytes. And a couple of motherboards. I cleaned them all off. They're good to go. I took the batteries off. So we're looking good. Oh, it is cold. Still cold out here. Man. So all I use to take apart the computers is just a drill with a Phillips bit and a pair of snips and a slot screwdriver. Yeah, so that's that. I'm going to bring stuff down and start. I'm going to put all the stuff in the buckets that I have out here. And then uh, call the day. I had uh, this, I took the furnace apart here. I, I tested the inducer motor, but uh, it's no good didn't pass my quality control department so probably just end up maybe take a sledgehammer and try and knock off the, the motor part here it's too bad I could have sold that guy for a hundred bucks but it just doesn't sound good enough for me all right anyways I'm gonna end the video and go inside get warm well I plug this guy in he is not looking too good look at him he's like all blood red it's like computer blood uh, it has just a KBC error, that's all it is. Nothing's going on here. And some static is coming over the uh, speakers. I went and looked through all my AC adapters trying to find an AC adapter. Apparently all it is is just, uh, just that. Look straight up into the power bars, just like that. It's, I look, check the back, it's 100, 120 volts. Oh well. So this guy is just... <laughs> oh dear. Well, maybe... Well, I don't know. What should I do with this guy? Probably just, uh... Scrap him out or something. That's pretty cool. Alright. All done scrapping out that laptop. It's no longer. Just bits and pieces now. Found some pretty interesting things in here. These older laptops I find are really good in, as a, a way of getting uh, good good e-scrap um, circuit boards. They have better precious metal content and all that sort of stuff. Start with this guy. This is the power supply, so it's internal power supply, and it just connects right to the to the socket like that. So there's no uh, not like the AC adapters you see today where it's uh, that's separate from the laptop. So uh, I'm going to try and I actually made a listing already for this on my turbo lister so I'm going to try and sell this for $25 that's about I think the only thing I'm going to try and resell as working from this laptop so everything else fill up bits and pieces here I don't know can anyone tell me if that's if those little that's where the screws go in um, can anyone tell me if that's gold if that's gold uh, plated because I think they're just brass but I'm not sure Anyways, you know, they're all over the, all over here. If they are gold, I think it'd be worth taking those out. That's the base. And here's the motherboard. This is pretty interesting. It's got a lot of, lot of stuff going on here. So, uh, that's the battery connectors. That's all gold plated. More gold plating there. This is for like some uh, slot cards that hooked in there. Uh, this is the, where the CPU is. So, see there. I already took the heat sink off. I'll show you that in a second. It's pretty interesting too. So there's lots of uh, gold in there. Yeah, focus. Yeah. Um, you know, you got all the old school connectors, parallel port for printer. On the reverse side, you got some big IC chips. And that would be the RAM right there. So it's on the actual motherboard. There's the CPU, and yeah. So right over here, this is the heat sink that was on top of here. So it went on just like that, and there was a couple of screws going through the bottom. Look at that thing, that's like, pretty sure that's all gold plated. Probably uh, copper copper with gold plating on it. It's really pretty. Um, so there's that. 
That's the video card that came from it. A uh, little button circuit board thing. This is the whole screen assembly. Probably just throw this in with my uh, e-waste. It's pretty beat up. A little bit of aluminum over here. Nothing too fancy. Um, it had the, these batteries in, the, in there. Uh, I guess one for motherboard and one for something else. I'm not sure. But I'll recycle those properly. That's nickel something. Methyl hydrate, some, I think. I'm not sure. Um... Here we go. This is uh, the hard drive from it. It has 1,358 megabytes. It's an oldie. Um, so if I can hook this up to a, a scanner, like if I can get onto it and, and then delete and then format it, I'll sell it. But I won't sell it on eBay like this without taking off the information. I, I have like a responsibility, like people bring me their stuff and uh, they, they expect me to recycle it properly. I mean, they don't want me sending information of theirs everywhere. Right. So I have a little bit of responsibility P guys. Make sure if you're ever dropping off your stuff, wipe, destroy your hard drive. I've seen some, I see, I've seen some stuff. So moving along here, this is the this is the heat sink that sat on top of this gold plated thing. Uh, so it sat on top of there like that, and then it had a little fan. I need so that was on the back of the laptop. Um, this is the that is slotted into the hard drive. So that's like a hard drive reader board. Lots of gold plating on that guy. Um, and this sat on top of the, this is like a card reader. This was on top of the motherboard. So it has uh, more gold stuff in there. And there's the, a card that was in there. I thought this would have a, have a uh, floppy disk, but it didn't. It had the, it had a CD drive. Um, this is the battery from it. So it got, it had a lithium, lithium ion battery. Um, yeah, lots of neat little gold things on there. You get, uh, I get the same price for this as I do lead acid batteries. After that, nothing too exciting. Got got the keyboard. You know, you probably sell that if you want. I saw lots of comparables on eBay that don't sell for very much, so I probably just go in e-waste or actually dirty aluminum. Yeah, that's aluminum there. Anyways, that's it. That's, uh, I just tore apart this guy. So after this, I'm just going to, you know, sort this stuff out into different uh, grades of, of boards and try to find a good price for it eventually. For now, I'm just kind of holding on to this stuff uh, and uh, trying to find a good buyer somewhere. Here's something else I'm going to take apart here. These light fixtures. I actually found these guys in the garbage uh, quite a while ago, probably last summer. And... These things are pretty heavy duty, as you can see, and it's all cast aluminum. Some glass windows and stuff. So these work. I tested them, and see, they got these big uh, mercury vapor bulbs. This one's actually burnt out. Uh, so I, I've been taking. I mean, I put these up on uh, Kijiji, uh, hoping someone would buy them off me, but no one's no interest at all. So I'm. They've been taking up space in my basement. I'm just going to scrap them out. So this whole thing is cast aluminum, and we got some other other goodies inside there. Let's take a look. Sorry, this reflection from the light. Got a nice big copper transformer down there. A bunch of uh, number two insulated wire. And then this whole frame, whole frame is cast aluminum. I've been looking at this thing for a long time and just wanted to scrap it out. But I've been resisting, hoping that I can sell it. But uh, as someone pointed out to me, 
before is that lights like this aren't, aren't uh, very popular anymore. Uh, the, the thing these days are uh, LED lights. Um, everyone's going with LED. The bulbs, they just last forever apparently with LED, uh, even though the fixtures are more expensive and this is kind of a older technology. There we have it, all done scrapping out these guys. Some big pieces of cast aluminum. And so we'll start down here. Just got a little tiny bit of brass from the light sockets. And this is just some scrap steel. Over here is the glass. And now, glass is always a problem, right? Um, not much you can do with glass, really. Uh, you can get creative. One thing that I was thinking of is uh, making like a little ant farm out of that. I thought of doing that before because this is kind of the same type of glass that you, can, that you get from scanning uh, scanner computers. You know, make, just get some wood and make a frame and then so kids can like fill it with sand and get a little ant farm going on. Probably sell something like that. These are the transformers. They're a good size. Uh, let's see how much they weigh. Ugh, come on, you. Uh, sensitive scale here. Uh, almost, almost fourteen pounds. So that's a dollar forty for those guys. A couple capacitors and these light sockets. This is these are the brackets. I'm actually thinking I'm going to keep these guys. Uh, let's just put them in the shed, you know, uh, keep them around for a little project. Those are the bulbs that were in them. These are uh, mercury vapor bulbs, so I'll probably recycle those. It's number one insulated. Or, sorry, number two. And let's see how much this aluminum weighs. All right, we're doing the balancing act here on the scale. And we have... Almost 25 pounds, 24 pounds, and 15 ounces or 16 ounces. So that's awesome. That roughly is $8.40 because it's about 35 cents a pound for cast aluminum. It's pretty good. So all in all, we probably got about $10 worth of scrap from that, from those two lights. It's pretty good for just a couple things I picked out of the garbage. Hey, everybody. It's March 5th. It's Sunday, March 5th. It's about 8 p.m. at night time now. And I had a great weekend. Hope you guys did too. Um, lots of nice sales this week. Uh, we just pretty much spent the whole week inside, whole weekend inside. Uh, we didn't really do too much because it's just been really, really cold. Like minus 30 at night time. So I've kind of been just uh, waiting for warmer days to come. Uh, but I got about 25 things posted on eBay. And I made some new listings and whatnot. I went through a lot of stuff. Um, so without further ado, I'd like to show you what uh, what I sold over the weekend. It was a really, really good sales. A bunch of uh, different eclectic kind of stuff. So first thing I sold is this dryer timer. This is one of the ones that, uh, or this is the one rather, I got had sent back to me. It was a return. The, the guy said it didn't fit his model of dryer, so he sent it back to me. And then I got it back and I relisted it. Sold this for forty dollars. This is a bag of army men, and these are uh, really small. They're not like the traditional ones that we're kind of used to, so they're really, really tiny. Uh, this is a mixture of like Civil War, cowboy Indians, medieval, and army men guys. So I got this from um, my mom's neighbor. He, this is all the toys that he used to play with when he was a boy. So this was given to me for free, along with a bunch of other great stuff I've already sold. This I sold for $25, this whole bag. This is an interesting one. This is a large stack of old manuals of vintage RCA electronics. So as you can see here, these are the service data for different clocks and... Ra old radios. Um, there's also like a whole bunch of. Uh, let's see, there's more radios. There's TVs, turntables, just a whole wide range of stuff. Television service data, and so it has the whole schematic of how to service 
the those electronics. So it's a big stack of it. And this is the, uh, see there's RCA. That's the guy's old address over in Ingleside, Ontario. Um, so this, I got that from an auction a while ago. And I, I don't think I paid hardly anything for this box that all this came in. All these came in envelopes like this and they were all sealed up. So these are the, these would be given to the technician from the company so that the technician could service their things. So the technician would keep all this stuff in a binder. See, it has like the three hole punch. Uh, so it's really a unique item. I mean, you, you see these on eBay and, but they're selling them individually. So you can get like, if you buy like this kind of um, clock and you want to repair it, well, you can go on eBay and get like the service manual for it. Um, so you can get it pretty cheap for like $10. So this is a whole stack though. And I don't, didn't really want to have to go through it and part it out. So just sold it all in one big lot. I only sold it for 60, $68 plus the shipping and it's really heavy too, right? Like this is all paper. So it's, it's really heavy. Um, so I put it up for a hundred dollars or best offer. So I took a best offer of, of $68. <clears throat> and so, um, yeah, happy with that. You know, it's, it's worth quite a bit, you know, to the right person, but you know, that's what I, that's what I like about eBay is that it really connects you to that right person. Moving along here, this is a uh, from a Filter Queen vacuum cleaner. Now, if you guys don't know the Filter Queen name, uh, it's, it's get to know it because these things are worth a lot of money. So this is the caster base and one of the uh, the brush heads. So that see, it's really neat uh, neat wheels, really nice. This can swivel in pretty much any direction. Uh, these are I found this on the side of the road um, so at the end of someone's driveway and they were getting rid of the whole vacuum cleaner. And uh, yeah, so I, I decided to part out this vacuum cleaner because uh, I had accidentally ran over the vacuum with my truck. So it was unfortunate because it was a good working vacuum cleaner. I could have sold it for quite a bit of money altogether, but I broke it. And so I'm part, I parted it out and I sold this caster base for uh, that was 30 and this one was 20. They're going to the same guy and he asked me for a deal. And so because, uh, he's closer by shipping's not going to cost me very much. So I said, I'll do free shipping if you buy both. So he bought both and I gave him a, uh, free shipping. So it was $50 for both. So I have to pay the shipping, which is going to be about uh, $15 or so. Not too bad. Back here we have a furnace board, ignition control board. Um, this guy had, he bought uh, express post uh, shipping. So he wants it really bad. And he, he wrote me a message. He says, make sure you ship this out right away because our furnace is broken and we have no heat. So he, this was on, he wrote me that message on Saturday. So I won't be able to ship this out until Monday. So he's been shivering this whole weekend. It's unfortunate, um, but yeah. He's, uh, he's going to get it. I'm going to ship it out express and he'll probably get it on Tuesday. This guy back here, this is a Alice and Chalmers, uh, die cast tractor, die cast toy tractor. So, uh, this is a uh, bittersweet. I sold this for $200 today. Now I paid $150 for it and yeah, it's bittersweet because, um, I bought this guy at an auction. It's really nice, nice looking toy, you know. Um, I bought it at an auction, and it was from a collection of this man who was just selling his entire collection. <clears throat> and I had no idea about these Alice Chalmers tractor toys. But until I saw the auction, I started doing a bit of research. And these things go for... Different models will go like $800. It was just crazy. So I went to this auction and people were bidding up to eBay prices <clears throat> for these toy tractors. Uh, they were bidding like seven, $800 for these things. So, you know, I wanted in on the action and I said, uh, so this one came up. It was one of the last ones that was for sale. And, you know, your heart starts pumping. 
you get that little bit of adrenaline at the auction. And so I bid up to $100. I remember another guy did 125 And the auctioneer looked at me and he said, 150 And I just involuntarily said, yeah, raise my hand. So I bid 150 And right then and there, I just regretted doing that because uh, I bought it for $150. And so I sat on it. Well, and plus it was tax on that too. So it's probably $100. $170. And so I've been sitting on this guy for over a year. And I finally sold him. Sold him $200. At least I didn't lose my shirt on it. This is from this motherboard from a Apple Performa 6200 computer. Has the RAM and a modem card on it. There's a battery pack. You see it just slots into the back of a, a female backboard. Um, so that's a nice little find. I, I've sold this for $50. This, uh, this type of, uh, Apple computer isn't as well sought after as some of the other more vintage computers. This one is, uh, more generic from what I know it, it had, uh, more problems than other Ma Apple computers. So it's not as sought after, but, uh, so it's been up for not too long, you know, uh, I consider it not too long to be seven months. It was probably up for about that. Um, so anyways, 50 bucks. It's not too bad. I sold this just today, um, a couple hours ago. This is a scissor lift jack from a Nissan uh, Altima or Maxima. I can't quite remember. I think it's Altima, 99 Nissan Altima. Um, so that's just a scissor jack. And we see these things all the time. Um but yeah, you can sell them on eBay. I uh, only got $25. And this was actually from a car that was given to me by um, an acquaintance. I was actually just chatting with a friend on the side of the road. And he saw me and he pulled up to me and he said, do you want my car? And I was like, yeah, okay. Long story short, he drove his car to my house and I drove him back to his house. This Nissan Altima came from had a bad engine, had like an engine knock or a bad uh, ch timing chain or something like that. And it had lots of bad rust on the body too. So it was all scrapped out. I scrapped it out and I parted, parted it out as best as I could. I could have done it better with that, with that car. Um, but it was my first car I've ever parted out. But uh, so... No loss. I made twenty five bucks on that. I've already I've already sold some other parts from it too. Uh, let's see if I'm missing something here. Oh yeah. So this is the this one sold on Friday. <clears throat> this is a furnace inducer motor from a carrier furnace carrier carrier uh, Bryant. <clears throat> this is a e ECM module here. It's a special kind of uh, special kind of inducer motor. It's uh, called a variable speed motor. I sold this for $160. Um, and this is the first kind of with that I've sold with the electronic motor on top. Well, it's 11 o'clock at night now and I just was doing some packaging of my stuff here. I got through a few boxes and I just sold a couple more things. I sold this uh, camera tripod. I took a best offer of $40. I can't quite remember where I got that guy from. And this is uh, another filter queen part. Coincidentally, it's just the, uh, this is a twist cap. This is on, it sits on top of it. It's a little uh, twist cap dome. Anyway, sold this guy for $20. All right, it's 11 o'clock at night time. So I'm going to go with bed. And we'll finish up all these, uh, these packages in the morning. Still got quite a bit to do, so I gotta wake up early. Uh, these things take a long time to pack, especially that furnace inducer motor. That thing will probably take at least half an hour to do. I guess the other thing I wanted to say was I hit a little milestone this weekend, uh, over 500 subscribers. Uh, I'm surprised and humbled by it. I didn't think it would be going this far. I'm having a really great time making these videos, and uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. Uh, that you're you're taking something away from these videos, you're learning something new, and uh, feel free always to leave comments in the comments section if you notice anything that I'm doing uh, that 
you know about, you know, and that you can share with me, something that uh, that you know, uh, because I always like to learn new stuff. You know, where I was two years ago is a totally different place now. Um, it's uh, learning something all the time. Um, it's something that anyone can do this kind of job. Anyone can part stuff out. It's really easy to do. Uh, doing it full, doing this, what I'm doing full time is a totally different monster. I don't know if I could, uh, I don't know where I would begin to give advice on that, but uh, anyone can part out a washing machine. You know, I think the only thing is, is that even you bring home a washing machine, you'll strip it down, maybe get like five or six parts that you want to resell. But then you have like the whole, the, what's left of it is a whole bunch of scrap metal. So uh, sell parts, I think you really need to uh, deal with scrap metal in some way, shape, or form. I mean, either you could put it at the end of your driveway and somebody, someone will, else will take it, or you could just bring it to the yard yourself, or you could arrange for someone to pick it up from you. There's all sorts of different ways you can do it. Do it on a small scale, like start with like a microwave and then work your way up. Because I, I part out everything from blenders all the way up to cars, anything I can get my hands on. Uh, I don't like to spend money to buy things as long as I usually get everything for free. Um, so it's a great little part-time job. I'm sure anyone can do it. Uh, so with that, thanks so much for watching my videos. If you have something to say, comment. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Anyways, talk to you again soon. Have a great night. Have a great day.